Hey guys, welcome to this month's, this month's monthly wrap up. I barely read this month. Um, I was very much in a mood of not wanting to read because I had to read the Kite Runner for school and I didn't want to read it. So I just was like, I'm not going to read this month. And so I didn't read until the reading rush. And so that's, that's what I read this month. Um, the only book I did not read that was not specifically during the reading rush was The Kite Runner and that was because I finally sat down and read it and I don't, like, I don't know how I feel about this. All I know is that one of my favorite characters of all time, um, Hassan, is in this book. I just love Hassan in general. I don't like this book. I love Hassan and his boy. I love them too. I don't know how to pronounce his son's name and I pronounce his name. So. In general, I didn't really like this book. I didn't really like the first half. The first half, I like I had to use an audiobook to get through. Um, there's just a character who was problematic in my opinion. It did get better, but yeah, I I don't I didn't really like this book all that much due to that character because I just felt like he wasn't like doing good things and I I'm not I'm not in the business of. The second half was a lot better, so all in all I did not did semi-enjoy it and I semi-liked it, but the first half was very problematic due to um, Amir, and I did not like him in the, very fir in, like, the first like 10 chapters, I did not like him. Um, so after that though, we, we, we were good. But this is the first book and only book I read that was not for the reading rush. I already explained why. Um, the next book I read is the one that's on top, and that is Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. This is actually a book I've, I read earlier this year, and then I reread it for the reading rush, because I wanted a short book to read, and it was also the first book I touched. Um, and so, yeah. But it's about Will, I believe. Yeah. Will, and he's going to, um, and basically get payback for Sorry, I drank coffee a couple of minutes ago. Um, but this is about Will, and he's going to get payback for... He's going basically to kill the guy who kills his brother. And there are three main rules when you are part of a gang, or your brother gets is part of a gang, um, is no crying, something else, and always get revenge. I was like, I'm going to find it. No crying, no snitching. Um, that's the other one. Um, and it follows him and he meets... And you get to hear from people from his past who influenced him. And I honestly really enjoyed this book. Um, the, it was funny, I think, without trying. I loved it because it was semi-funny. And it was amazing. I love it so much. So yeah, this was a really good book. You should all go check it out. It's written in verse if you're worried about it being long. It's only so thick because it is written in verse. So yeah. And the last physical book I read was All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dorer. Dorer? 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 I can't pronounce his last name. Um, but this has two of my new favorite characters in it. It is Winner? Winner? It's the guy, main guy that we follow, and Marie's dad. Um, first off, Marie's dad is exactly my dad, so that's why he's my favorite. And I like, um, Wiener, Winner. I'm gonna call him Winner. Um, I'm just calling him W. W, because I'm a math nerd. I love math. Um, once my sister moves out, whenever that might be, um... I'm going to either build or buy me a chalkboard so I can do math in my room, but also so I can draw things and then like film in front of it if I want to, but like, I'm going to say it's for math because I will be using it for math because I am taking two math classes this, two math classes this year. I'm taking physics, which is a science, and I'm taking advanced math honors, um, so I... I'm going to need places to write, and if I can write on a chalkboard, that's just even cooler for me. So, yeah. And my nerdy self wants a chalkboard. 
so yeah but this was the last book I read and it's a historical fiction novel which I never thought I would be reading because I'm not a historical fiction person normally um but um but it's in World War II and it follows Marie and W and W is this guy who's really smart and can fix radios so when he gets basically put into the army or yeah the Nazis army he gets saved and having to be on the front lines because he's able to do things with math and trigonometry and yeah so that's his story and then you have Marie on the other hand who is a girl and she is blind, and she, it's her experience of being blind in, um, not in, but during World War II. So yeah, that's what this was about. And the last book I read, I only read four, was The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I almost bought this book. I have read this before. This is my second time reading it, and I loved it more than I thought I would. Um, I knew what it was about. I knew it was about, um, a guy... Um, who got shot um, when reaching for a hairbrush. I knew it was about that. Um, however, I did not realize how much I would enjoy it. Um, I really like Star, um, and her boyfriend in the book is a white guy. And so basically, they one of my favorite scenes in the book it doesn't spoil anything, but basically they start making fun of him, saying that he that he's white but he's black on the inside, basically. So like he does like a lot of things that black people do, and so I find myself doing these things like it's just because I grew up in that culture that it's who I am. Like that's that's my reasoning for it, and I'm right when I say that because that's how I grew up. Um, and so I very much enjoyed that scene. That was a very heartwarming scene for me, and I very much loved it so much. So yeah. Hey guys, so apparently I didn't film an outro for this, so it's fun to tell you guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you want to go check me out on any other social media platform, I am at Mary Be the Nerd on everything except for Twitter. I have a number. It's one behind it. So yeah. Um, that's Instagram, Twitter. Um, I don't use Snapchat with people who I don't know in person, but yeah. Um, and then I also have a thing called Star Maker, which is where I basically cover songs, and an Uplive account, which is where I do live streams. Um, I'm going to try and start doing them twice a week again. Um, I used to do them three times. I have to back off to the school, but I'm going to try and continue doing them. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!